Hello, my name is James Silver, and I'm here to talk about goblins. Now, we all know what a goblin is. A goblin is a very uh, evil looking creature. No, goblins are not evil. Goblins are very benevolent. Uh, people. They are humanoid like. They have. They are very tall. They are four, uh, three to four feet tall. They usually have very long ears, about a foot long ears, and sometimes when they get older, it keeps on growing, growing, until it flops down, starts flopping down, and. There are many different goblins from different regions. Uh, they got Germany, Scotland, um, England, and Ireland. Not a lot in Ireland, though. Just a tiny bit in Ireland. Um, uh, there, there are goblins going to Ireland now. There, there are even leprechauns going to Japan. Um, elves going to Spain. They have a specific purpose because not everywhere in the world has little people. So they go across the world and they give off knowledge to the human people. And a lot of people will try to say, when they have experience with them, they'll say, Oh, they want to hide. They, they don't want to have human contact. But they do. They do. Not a large member of them, like ogres, giants, um, and trolls. Those you don't want to come across. So, um... Goblins are very wise. They are very old. It's an elderly earth elemental. Although they are not one of the four elemental quarters. The water, iodines, fire, salamanders, and the air sylphs, and the earth gnomes. No. Uh, but they are a class of elementals, such as the elves and the brownies. Because there, there is only one class of their race. Elves are Earth, brownies are Earth as well, and goblins, goblins, are Earth as well. Fairies, um, usually are in different elements. Regular little fairies are in different elements. So that's. Their, their first element was air because they had wings and they fly. They're connected to the air elements. Even though they have water fairies, they still they all still have wings. All fairies have wings. Not all of them. Not the goblins and elves. But some of them do. Now, this is not what a goblin looks like. A goblin has longer ears, just as I said. Uh, a in the movie, it's like one or two feet tall, and they're not very fat. They are very tall. They're three to four feet tall, and um, they do not have claws, and you do not have teeth that they find from glass and rocks and stuff. They are born with uh, teeth like us. Well, as ba well as babies, I, I don't really know about the babies part, but they do have teeth. Every fairy does. How else would they chew their food? Now, there are three types of goblins in this book. We have the Greater Bull Goblin, which is one of uh, which in the movie was one of the head um, goblins of the of the goblin troops. Red hat with the blue suit. And here's a hop goblin. And uh, 
the greater bull goblins don't even exist. Um, hobgoblins do exist, but they do not look like this. They are similar to regular goblins, although they are regular goblins. They just come from a different uh, country in Europe. That's all. They just have their. They just have have different uh, similarities. So. Goblins are very wise, and they are known for their pranks, and if you don't want them to prank you, um, give them a home um, closer to your house. Uh, you don't have to build a house or anything, just let them um, make their homes in your yard. You might find them living under your house or in a in a flat land or in the ditches where they sometimes live and goblins are very very childish so watch out goblins love silver coins so in return for giving you all their wisdom such as the elves. The elves have wisdom, great wisdom, such as the goblins. They want nothing but silver coins, but also they love biscuits. Uh, they love milk. They love sour cream. They love Irish soda bread. They love bread. They like anything. Not not much sweet things, but. Uh, very spicy things like garlic and onions. Uh, sometimes a little sweet stuff like uh, the biscuits. They love biscuits. Ooh, they love biscuits. They love breads. They love anything with carbohydrates. And, and their skin color is rather palish to a very tan brown color. After all, they are an earth elemental. They have to. They usually are the color brown for the earth color because they are s so wise in nature. Uh, mostly, where there are where there are um, where there are a big circle of trees. In the middle of, there's a little meadow, a little grassland, there's going to be a home of uh, goblins living there. So I hope you like this video, and if you have any questions about goblins and leprechauns, feel free to message me or comment. I'll be sure to let you back in a video or a message.